Hello everyone, it's Tanya, Tanya in Calgary, and welcome to my vlog. This vlog is about websites, SEO. Should you do it? Should you invest in it? Whether you're in real estate or any other small business, I'm gonna discuss my experience in SEO and websites. So 18 years ago, I roll into a brokerage. I was the youngest there. And a lot of these old boys, they had been there for many years and I felt like a fish out of water. And we were entering this new digital age. It was August of 2000. And when I looked around, everyone was basically doing the same thing. I mean, the Ikea phones or the Nokia phones were the ones that were this big. No one really had a website, but I had done some due diligence and realized that I think I was gonna need a website if I was gonna be successful in real estate. So Tanya goes out, she spends $1,400 and uh, I basically get a blue background with my brokerage name, a bio, contact, about me, a picture. I still remember I was wearing a blue suede suit with a little kind of blue scarf wrapped around my neck. And that was my first website. And I wish I could have captured what it looks like because you would have laughed. But I think that a lot of these people that were in the brokerage had been there for so long that old habits die hard. They didn't want to come into the digital age. They were happy with their big books with all of the listings. They were happy with their big cell phones and that's how they had done this business for so many years and they didn't want to learn anything new. And now after being in it so long, I get it because this digital age is so daunting. Where do you spend your money? I get solicited probably 15 to 20 times a month of people trying to sell me something and often it's about SEO and Google ads and we can rank you first and when you're first starting out this is extremely daunting because if someone is really good and they can sell snow to an Eskimo they're gonna be able to sell you a Google ad or, or, or SEO I want to share two things with you I do believe that SEO is important but SEO is also very expensive and SEO is search engine optimization so it drives people to you and to your website with certain ads that people People type into a Google search or another search and if you're paying a lot of money you will be one of the first or maybe the first to come up on the first page but they basically say that in Google if you don't reach the first page you're dead in the water and so people that are on the first page let me tell you are paying a lot of money so if you're paying two or three hundred dollars a month it's not gonna get you much. Don't waste your money. You either have to go all in or not at all. And I have spent thousands upon thousands and thousands of dollars on SEO in, in the last seven to eight years. And uh, I'm glad that I did it. I have no regrets. We still do a little bit of SEO, uh, but you just have to be very cautious. Ask around, do your due diligence. What's it doing for you? What are the analytics behind it? and uh, make sure that you're going with a reputable company. So that's a little bit about SEO. The second is, should you have a website? Absolutely unequivocally. If you are a small business and you don't have a website, I mean, unless you're a mom and pop shop and you've done it for years like that, maybe you can survive on that. But in my industry and in most industries, what is the first thing people do? They do a search. They want to see who you are. They want to know about you. They want to see what are you doing? Are you selling other homes? Are you, you know, who are you? And uh, I think it, it does give you credibility. It, uh, it lets people into your lives a little bit so they can learn about you. And it, it shows people that you have invested into yourself. I work with a lot of small builders and a lot of my small builders don't have websites and they never did, you know, even five, 10 years ago. But now more than ever, if you don't have a website, people start to question, well, why not? Why haven't they invested the money into their business to do a website? Now that builder might say, well, we've, we've been building homes for 20 years. We've needed, never needed a website, but we are changing. Our world is changing and it's evolving. And I know for me, I love my website because people can go on, they can uh, learn about my team. They can see all the listings that we currently are trying to sell, some of the product we've sold. We use it for blogs. We have videos. And so we've really utilized our website as a tool, a tool for people to get to know us, a tool for marketing and so it doesn't matter what small business uh, I believe you have small medium size or even a micro business 
and uh, I truly believe that a website um, is, is very important in running a business. So thank you so much for joining in on my SEO and website, and I hope you have uh, taken a few valuable nuggets. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.